Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, general reading uh, for Pisces. Uh, what does your guides and your ancestors uh, want you to know for March 2023? Uh, you could apply this to a, uh, any replacements because this reading can be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at what that is and then uh, we'll finish off the read to see what the possible outcome advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, what else? Um, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post and one I go live, all right? Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. What does Pisces need to know from their guides and their angels and their ancestors? What does uh, 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 Pisces' guides, angels, and ancestors want Pisces to know for March 2023? Eight of Swords and a Five of Pentacles. Okay. Could be that you're going through some hard times, maybe some financial hard times here. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But you know, you know, I do feel like, you know, you're you're in the process of overcoming this. You know, I do feel like it happened for a reason. You know, perhaps there are some lessons for you to learn in this situation. Um, you know, I, it could be a situation that someone here spends a lot of money or someone here doesn't know how to manage their money, okay? Uh, I do feel like, you know, there is a, a sense of like being in fear of consciousness or lack of consciousness here. And I feel like you're trying to regain control of that steering wheel and basically learn from your regrets here. Yeah, um, so the Magician Gemini Virgo. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords and the World. The Five of Pentacles here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You know, some of you guys could have suffered a loss here. Yeah. Some of you guys could have suffered a loss. Um, I don't know whoever this is, but I feel like someone here, you know couldn't breathe or something like that. Yeah, someone here couldn't breathe. Someone here could have lost their life because of that. So if you recently lost someone here, um, uh, 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 Pisces, I feel like you, you're having a hard time dealing with it. You know, and I feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's maybe guiding you through the grief here. We have the Hermit, Virgo, Energy, and the Four of Pentacles, King of Wands here, and the Queen of Pentacles. There's some regrets about the past here, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, with the Emperor here, I do feel like you're overcoming this or that you're regaining control of the steering wheel here. This is interesting because I do feel like, you know, there's a sense of loss here. There is a sense of like some sort of financial struggle here. Uh, but I feel like someone here is definitely trying to overcome it. Okay. I feel like someone here is being guided to do that. I mean, there's a couple of people here. I, I do feel like you're this masculine energy here, uh, Pisces, though. You know, I feel like, you know, Pisces, I feel like you've struggled with a lot of loss in your life, such as people, you know, maybe leaving or people crossing over to the other side, you know, and I feel like, you know, because of that, I feel like you've struggled a lot. You know, it could be siblings, it could be, you know, friends, it could be family members, it could be lovers or something like that. Uh, tell me more. What else does Pisces need to know from their guides and their angels and their ancestors? What do they need to look out for? Work on your outcome and advice for Pisces. For March 2023, we have the Tower here. Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Ten of Wands. 
Seven of Swords and the Chariot. Cancer Energy, Seven of Wands here in the Four of Cups. This is weighing this is weighing very heavily on someone. I, I feel like there's gonna be a huge sense of relief or release here. You know, there's a, there's gonna be a sense of like a, a like a major purification here or something like that. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like these individuals that might have passed, these individuals want you to enjoy your life. You know, I feel like it could be, you know, you might have, you know might have like been in this place of like sabotaging good things yeah and i feel like you're trying to get away from that i mean there's definitely going to be a major release here you know i feel like you know um you know i do feel like you know a lot of the layers are being peeled away here that you're you're starting to have those like major realizations here the seven of wands and the four of cups here You know, I, I I do feel like there are people in and around your life that's trying to support you and help you here. But Pisces, I feel like you're turning them away. Yeah, I feel like you're turning them away. You're not accepting any sort of help here. I, I do feel like you are trying to like do this on your own. I do feel like you're trying to like regain control of that steering wheel here. Uh, tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? We have the three of swords, the uh, ten of wands here, and the empress. Wow. You know, I feel like, you know, I do feel like there is some sort of major trigger that's happening here because I do feel like, you know, there could be a family member here that is sick. Uh, you know, someone here that's terminal that's nearing uh, the end of their life here. Oh, we have the Empress of the Empress here. That's a true pair. So this could be a spouse or something like that. Yeah, this could be a spouse. You know, there could be siblings and friends here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, the Empress Libra Taurus here. Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. Tell me about the Chariot here. The Chariot and the Ace of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting is that, you know, what's getting to you is that there is a major battle here or, or amongst family members regarding money. The thing is, I feel like you don't even care about that, Pisces. Yeah. Tell me about the Seven of Wands here. Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. Someone here, reject, someone here is rejecting love. Someone here is rejecting help too. Yeah, so, you know, Pisces, I feel like you're struggling and I feel like you're really having a hard time and I feel like you're trying to, you know, do some soul searching here, but you know, it's kind of like a struggle, but you're like doing it at the same time, you know? It's like it's not like you're turning away from it. You're 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 definitely doing something about this, but it's kind of difficult. Okay. So I do feel like there's a sense of like regaining control here, trying to regain control of that steering wheel. So um uh, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.